Hello everybody, this is Uri, welcome to my channel and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to make your own buffalo pattern brush in Procreate. As you can see, I have made some projects and really there is no limit to the amount of creative ideas you can come up with when it comes to this brush. Buffalo pattern is so popular during fall and holiday, so this brush is a must have in your Procreate brush collection. To create the image that is going to form my pattern, I'm going to go ahead and open a square canvas of 2048 by 2048 pixels. First, I'm going to go ahead and double tap at the bottom of my color disk and I'm going to drag this color to my first layer. Next, I'm going to go ahead and open a new layer, tap on my brush icon and go inside the calligraphy set and choose the monoline brush. I am going to adjust the side between 40 and 50% and I'm going to make a diagonal line in the middle from top left to bottom right. Now make sure you hold the pencil down until you have a straight line. The next thing you are going to do is keep multiplying this layer and place it evenly across the square canvas. So right now I'm just repeating the steps until I cover the surface of my square canvas. What I'm doing is duplicating tapping on the transform tool, dragging the line and make sure I'm leaving the same amount of space in between the lines. Alright, so now once you feel confident about the space between your line, go ahead and merge all of those lines so they all be together in one layer and go ahead and duplicate that layer. Alright, so now it's time to place each layer in the corner where they will belong in the pattern. And I'm going to start by selecting only the layer that is covering black. I'm going to tap on the transform tool and making sure magnetics and snap are on. Now trim this layer to the bottom right corner and don't let go of the pencil until you see the yellow horizontal and vertical guidelines. Alright, now it's time to tap on the layer icon and select the next layer. Do the same thing, transform tool and trim this layer to the top right corner. And remember to look for the guidelines. Repeat the same thing with the next layer, transform tool and trim down to the left bottom corner. Now I want to explain something about this image. All these areas that you see white in here, the top left corner and the white in between the diagonal lines, all of those areas are going to be the ones that are going to be transparent when we made the brush. So you're going to be able to put any color you want under this buffalo pattern. All right, so now that our image is done, we go ahead and tap on the action tools and tap on copy canvas. And to add a new brush, go ahead and tap on the brush icon and tap on the plus sign. Now it's time to put the image we created inside the grain of this brush. So go ahead and tap on edit, then import, then paste. And you are going to double tap with two fingers on the screen because you want the image inverted. And the reason is because I want the thinner lines to be the ones on my brush instead of the thick lines that you see here on black. And while I'm here, we're going to go ahead and set up two more things. First, the zoom, you're going to bring it down between 25 and 35%. Scroll down and then turn off Offset Jitter. Now go inside the Apple Pencil menu and you're going to make sure you're going to turn the opacity all the way down to none. Next, go inside the Properties menu and here's where you turn up and down the size of the tip of your brush. I'm going to leave mine in about 125%, something like that, but this is up to your taste. All right, so those are the basic settings for this brush. However, after I try this brush, I want to show you some settings that you can um, toggle to personalize your brush more to your taste and for what you want it to do. All right, so to test the brush, I have opened a new layer and I'll drag this pretty color red here to test my buffalo pattern brush. Now I'm gonna open a new layer on top of that one, change my color to pure black, and go ahead and pick the new brush that we just made and go over on that brush. And this 
works perfect. This is the result I wanted. And that's the beauty of this brush. It has transparent parts, so you can choose any color for the background and then just put on top on a new layer your buffalo print. Alright, so before I tell you more about other settings that you can change in this brush, I'm going to go ahead and test it on a few colors so that you can see how beautiful it looks on different background colors. Alright, so now that you have seen the wonders of this buffalo brush, I'm going to go ahead and show you some other settings that you can change to make the brush more personalized for whatever you wanted to use it. If you remember when we were setting up the brush, inside the gray menu there is a slider called zoom. When we set up the slider close to the left side, that's going to make the brush change the size of the pattern when you change the size of the brush here on the main interface. If I slide this up, the size of the pattern also is going to change to big. And if I slide it down, it's going to be really small. This is actually the way we set up the brush. It's on the left side and it's between 20 and 35%. So this is going to make the size of the buffalo pattern change when you change the size of the brush over here on the main interface. However, when you come back to settings and you put it all the way to where it says crop all the way to the right and go back to the main interface, when you change the size of the brush over here, the size of the pattern is going to stay the same whether you make the tip of the brush big or small. That's the difference when you change that setting inside the gray menu. All right, so recapping what we just explained, having zoom set up to the left will allow you to change the size of the pattern as well as the size of the brush when you are on the main interface and setting up zoom to the right. It's going to allow you to change only the size of the brush, but the size of the pattern is going to stay the same. Alright, so this concludes this tutorial of how to make a buffalo pattern brush in Procreate. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. I truly appreciate from the bottom of my heart all the way you have been supporting my videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.